Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see setting up with AWS Batch. We have started this series of AWS Batch wherein we will be working on the AWS Batch configuration, setting up it, what are the job, jobs definition, job queues, job scheduling, compute environments and we will try to cover more topics. So in this topic if you would see we will set up the AWS Batch. Let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. Well, to set up the, the AWS match, you will have to first sign on for AWS. So by sign on, I mean you have to make an account on Amazon. Then we would have to sign up with that account on the AWS console, just like I did. So let me... So it will be more visible for you. So we shall sign up, sign on for AWS. Then you will have to create an IAM user. By IAM user, you would have to go inside the IAM services, just like here. And then when you will be in the IAM console, like this, I have a user with which I am logged in. My past, the, my access key is this, sorry, two John, these are my IAM user. I'm using this uh, say user account. This is my user account. I have the test. You can make the group and make it about of admin as well. And make sure that you have the AWS management console access as well. You can have the, so if you would click on, you would see the permission policies. I have the administrative access to my Azure user. You can make it a part of group as well. If you would create a group and attach policies, I have made it to administrators. This is how you would set up the IAM user account. Next, you would have to create IAM roles for your compute environments and container instances. So this would be create IAM roles for boot environments and container instances. You would have to do this. Then you would have to create a key pair. Then you would have to create a virtual PVC. If, if you would create a VPC, it's a VPC cloud. So if you would by default log on, you would have the by default VPC created in your Amazon console. So if you would go to the VPC services on the console, you would see a VPC created. It will come up. So in Northern Virginia, you have two VPCs. This is ECS default VPC. And, uh, and you have this subnets, by default subnets created, ECS default subnet, you have the route tables. Then you would also have the security group as well. For that you have to go under the EC2 section. So you should have the security group as well, if I can spell it correctly. So you would go under EC2, you would have a security group it act as a firewall for the associated compute environments and container instances, which would control both inbound and outbound traffic at the container instance level. You can also add rules to the security group uh, that enable you to connect to your container instances from your IP addresses using SSH. So if you would see here, here it is the security groups create the security groups or you can create the security group just by clicking here and then you can have the name description and the you can add the rule for the at which protocol you want to select port range and the source from where the traffic would be coming and also you can optionally also install the aws cli to do the work on the command line interface level using the AWS CLI. So these are the things that you need to work.
with the AWS patch, you have to sign up, you have to have the AWS account, you should have a IAM user, the administrative access so that you can interact with compute environment using EC2 and container instances. You should have the IAM roles for the container and compute instances. You have a key pair. You can, and uh, then you have a VPC. Then you have to create a security group. Then you can also install the AWS CLI. So this was the brief things that I wanted to cover by while setting up the AWS batch service. We'll work on a few more videos. Till then, have a, have a good day. Bye bye.